It like nourishes my heart to see these girls here. We have campers so sad or scared to leave their parents and never go to camp and then you see them leave and they're getting everyone's phone numbers and Snapchats and they all want to talk all the time. And I think for myself and a lot of these girls, we don't go home and talk to everybody about how we feel lupus-wise like we do here. Actually really nice because everyone here doesn't judge you for what you have, what you look like, what you're wearing, whatever. So it's extremely important to form these kinds of bonds here with people that I know I can relate to. They're just, they're there for you. We have a full group chat on Facebook where we're like texting like, camps in a week, we're so excited and like screaming through text because we're just so excited. The relationships that you make and that you, that they're there like forever. You're, they're not just going to go away like high school friends. They're, they're there and you can count on them and they're, they make you feel like you're a normal teenager. The most relieving and mentally stimulating thing to her was that there were other people there that understood what she had and had the same feelings and could understand that just not feeling good today is just not feeling good today. You know, it's different. You know, this camp has changed Anna's life, has changed our life as a family. She was lucky enough to be asked to speak at the Purple Ball for the Lupus Fundraiser. As a mother, I couldn't have been more proud. Um, she stood up there and did a, an amazing job. And after Anna and her friends spoke, and to see these people raise their paddles, giving thousands of dollars all the way down to any amount of money, just, um, it means the world to me. The lessons that she's learned the, the friendships that she's made, you know, the ability to come here and know that she's not alone, to know that she can come and help other people. You know, I think she puts on a really brave face and she really loves to be the, <laughs> the center of the room and the light of the world. And she can come here and she can do that because she knows what that does for other people. To sort of get through your day and know that you can't do the things that everybody does is really disheartening sometimes. Talking to other people sort of brings, a, brings peace. I just hope that she keeps the same spirit that she has now, that she continues to love people despite sometimes the, some of the not so nice ones that she meets, that she still has that faith that generally people are good. Last year I was in a wheelchair, in a scooter, and I worked so hard just to be able to stand and like camp is everything, it's what I look forward to. Last year. We had a tiny group chat with my roommates, and sadly one of them had passed away, Raya. She was extremely sweet. I met Raya at camp. She was extremely scared for her first year at camp. It was also my first year at camp. I had gotten her social media, and when she was going through that kind of difficult time when she was last in the hospital, she would text us her updates and stuff. And it was an important part, like hearing about like her health and stuff like that. And it was very sad when she passed away. I want her to have a normal life expectancy. Did not have to have so many obstacles put in front of her that she can't do the things that she wants to do. She's gonna be fine. I just wanna say thank you so much to everybody that donates to make this camp possible. We get girls from all over the United States. We're the only camp in the nation or Lupus Foundation in the nation that does something like this. And for people to so selflessly give their own money to make this possible for people they don't even know is just an incredible thing. Thanks for sending us to Lupus Camp. Purple Dragon out.